stitch it and bring it back down and drill it into the bone. Four drills, four holes in the bone. And there you have it. We got special guests here, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Reminiscent mm -hmm. Boys, another episode. As you can see, we got some special guests here in the building. Introduce <laughs> yourself, everyone. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, my name's Joss. Joss. John. Baby Cheeks. Yo. So, yeah. <laughs> Celebration is John Pacheco's birthday. We got security. Hey, <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday, bro. Now tell everybody how old you are. Fortunately, 29. <laughs> nah, bro, the blessing. More that's life, a, more blessings. Yeah. More life, <laughs> more wisdom, bro. Yeah, man. You know, that's a part of life. You grow. I can tell from my back when I was your age. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. But yeah, nah, so... We got the fellas here, so we got some topics we wanted to talk about All Star Weekend. Yeah, All Star Weekend, <coughs> man. Did you, did you did you catch up on it? How was it? So how does it go? It's a three day event, right? So three, three yeah, it's a three day event. This year was Salt Lake <coughs> City, and they start off with my personal favorite, the Celebrity All Star Game. Hey, okay, okay. Yeah. So we could be YouTube stars. We could be in there. Yeah, Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you apply? How do you apply? <laughs> top, 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 top. We got to post on TikTok, <laughs> some Instagram videos of us playing back in the day. At Yo, Yo John with the, the side shot. That was his. Uh, that was 100% <laughs> automatic, man. <laughs> okay. I ran the baseline block. Stars, this would be nice with the steals. Yes, sir. You're yeah, the left hand bandits right here. Both of you guys are left yeah. hand. Seriously. Left hand. <laughs> you guys can run up and down that court for days. Cardio for the stamina, crying. boys. Can't play with a lefty. Yeah, yeah you know man. how they that, how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, so celebrities, huh? That's your favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite because I like seeing the celebrities play. See how their game is. Like this year, we had. Uh, 21 Savage, he played in the nice, game. Nice. You had uh, freaking Nicky Jam. Hey. And it was funny because I was thinking in Bad Boys for, uh, for Life, yeah, yeah. Um, he, according to uh, what was Will Smith's uh, partner in the movie, he was a Martin coach. Lawrence? Yeah, he was a coach back in the day and he coached him in like Pee Wee basketball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. saying that he was like the star <laughs> yeah. basketball player. Yeah. Well, that wasn't true for this game because like he was getting Blocked left and right, <laughs> like he was just flat out trash. But That's it wasn't funny. like like Mike. Nicky Jam. Nah, not like like Mike. You didn't at find all, those man. pair of shoes. <laughs> where, where? And that's the first night. Yeah, that's the first night, and then <laughs> after that game concludes, you got the Rising Stars Challenge. You got the rookies and sophomores hey, playing nice, against nice. one another. I think nowadays it's Team USA versus Team World. Okay. And now they like break it up into like a tournament, so they have like former players, and they pick from a pool of players, and it's like a tournament of, like, four right. teams, and then they play for, like, a little championship. But is it still rookies and sophomores? Yeah, are, yeah, it's still, allowed? yeah, it's still, I believe, okay. yeah, it's rookie sophomores, if I'm not mistaken, they also have, like, the G League people, too, they're trying to incorporate oh, word, word. those players as well. Because I was going to say, like, would you want to get drafted, like, right out of the high school, or would you want to go to the college and pursue like if if, if if I was if I was like considered maybe like the next LeBron James or yeah. like Kevin Durant <laughs> or someone KG Kobe yeah. KG Kobe right out perfect example right yeah. out like if I had their skill level then most definitely but a lot of people would say take the college route and yeah. develop your skills a lot more and then think about Drafted. But imagine being 18 years old and having to think about that. Like, that do I want, do I want these Brian millions? Brian had to have his parents sign. He really? He was 17. He was only 17 years old. And then huh? before that was KG, even younger. Damn. Yeah, LeBron. No, LeBron was and isn't yeah, there like a law now that like, they're not allowed to so, do that no more? Yeah, I believe they're trying to bend the rules a little bit now and have um, basketball players like straight out of high school go to the league now. Mm. Because, like, nowadays, like, the talent is just out of this world. Yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. So they want to give those people, like, the opportunity to just make the jump. Yeah, you don't want to be like a Brandon Roy and, you know, go to college and then get hurt in your third year. Yeah, it'd be tough. Like, yeah. I think I w at that age, 18 years old, think about it. If you're 18, you have the chance to make millions. What are you, you going to choose? To choose millions or go get a nice education and play for free? <clears throat> like, yeah, what, yeah. what are you, you going to choose? I'll be getting millions and 
Yeah. 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 It's crazy. Yeah. Get the millions. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's real estate. There you go. Because when LeBron was 18, yeah. when Reebok offered him a deal. Yeah, Reebok. For like, I think it was like 10 million. Yeah, 10 million. Damn. So imagine yeah. at 17, 18 years old, right? A company. Yeah. A big brand company mm-hmm. goes up to you like, yo, we want to yeah. sign you. We'll give you this much. Yeah, for sure. For and sure. LeBron said no. <laughs> and look at him now. He, yeah, he's with sure. Nike. He has a lifetime contract yeah. worth billions. Nike has that same story, though, because I feel like MJ did the same thing. Like yeah. he, he had an interview with Adidas. He almost signed with Adidas, but his mom's like, no, go go see Nike. Yeah. So yeah. his mom, yo. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah, yeah. His mom. Originally, he didn't like Nike. He, he liked Adidas. So, like, yeah, his mom told him, like, you have to take this meeting. Just hear them out. Yeah, and yeah. they actually have a movie coming out soon in April called Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yep. Talking Talk about, about how they signed Michael Jordan to, to Nike and how yeah. Nike is today. So I'm looking yeah. forward to that. It's like Kanye. But so that's the first night. Yeah, that's the first night, and then the second night, um, you got. And you said this is in Utah? Three nights in Utah? What are we doing in Utah? Salt Lake City, Utah. You know what's funny? On Twitter, someone's like, yo, when you fly into Salt Lake, you better check in. (laughs) It's like, who's out there? (laughs) You know, like, it's Utah. There ain't no fucking Chris Bloods out there. What is that, Bigfoot in the mountains or something? It's the caveman. Seriously. (laughs) You better check in. Like, this ain't New York. This ain't LA. This ain't Houston. You gotta go up and down the blocks. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. But, all right, so second night in Utah. Second night in Utah, you got the skills challenge. Okay, okay. You There's got, still guards. Like, it's mainly guards, right? Now they have teams. So, like, you have, like, Team Giannis, him and his brothers. Oh, for real? And then, like, you have, like, a G League team and then, like, another team. I, I didn't I didn't catch it, unfortunately, but that's how it's been the past few years. They have, like, a few teams playing where, where? against one another. After that, you have the three-point challenge. Uh, our boy Jason Tatum was in it for the second time, and he was yeah, a loser right. again. <laughs> uh, Damian Lillard actually won it, and he said he's retiring. That's oh, yeah? Mean. Yeah, he's like all the great three-point <laughs> shooters entered this contest and won it, so I had to go out for the one time and do it, and he, and he won it. So The three-point contest? The three-point contest. Okay, Damian okay. Lillard, yep. And then to cap Saturday night, it's the dunk contest. And in recent years, the dunk contest – has been very underwhelming because yeah. not all the big stars that you would think would be in the competition yeah. are participating. In like John Moran. John Moran has some crazy dunks. I remember you yeah. showed me a couple crazy dunks with John Moran. Yeah. Like in live games, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. John Moran. In 2K. John Moran, man, like, he's, he's, he, he might end up being like the next LeBron James when it comes to being a liar in the dunk contest because, like, a year prior, he was like, Nah, I'll, he keeps asking for money. He's like, give me yeah, a bill. Yeah, give yeah, me a bill yeah. and I'll show up. It's, it's like, bro, true. like you already make a lot. Just enter it for the fans. Just do it for us. Like, we nah, need him in the contest. But it's true, though. They're making money off this event. All this televised stuff. Yeah, sponsored yeah, and yeah. all that. They're making money. John and it's like, in the laser, you know. They're teasing <laughs> us when they're doing layup lines before the games. In the game, they're doing all these dunks. Yeah. Man, you should enter the dunk contest. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Nah, I'm good. So the NBA, instead of paying John Morant the mill, they're like, you know what? Let's go to the G League. Let's make one of these bums, like, put out their heart out there, you know, try their best because you know they're going to want to. They have that ambition. Yeah. Because you're an up-and-comer. You're in the G League. You're not even in the NBA. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you're going to show out more because you don't care where you put yourself through. You're no name. You have nothing to lose. So it's like you're just going to go out and do your thing. What's that guy's name again? The the whip boy. Mac McClung. You know, he made his whole NBA salary in that one night. Almost. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. So, like, the that's NBA sad. salary that he earns is, like, I want to, if I'm not mistaken, it's, like, 110, and in one night he made, like, 102 or 103 as he won the dunk contest. Has anyone ever dunked? Ooh. Has anyone ever dunked? Shit, not even Sky is on the <laughs> got to get the jump right. If you call about jumping, then clap at the rim and then hold on. It's off. Okay. It's off. I, got, I used to be able to put my hand on the rim That's like that, but not dribble him. Yeah. I believe someone's dunked in here. Huh? Alion's dunked it with ease, man. Come yeah, on, You're man. the only one that's dunked in this room, so this is a perfect topic for you. It's a total for it. It's easy. It's easy? It's easy, yeah. it's easy, it's easy when you're like 6'2 with 7'1 wingspan. 6'2 
So how do you do it? <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> you just Honestly, he's like Mikey. He just he just does it. He just, <laughs> he just do it. How do you Back time in it? The, how do you time it so well? I let you do it. He just jumped. It's in, it's in his jeans, man. It's in his jeans. <laughs> like he was just running down the court. He went up and then boom. I was like, so how did he, he do, do it so effortlessly? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just gonna be a layup, and then it was like boom, major yeah. impact. And he's like, fuck them kids. <laughs> I'm like, yo, relax. <laughs> yeah, man. So you're the only one that's ever done it, yo, in this room. Yeah. That's what they say, watch out for the quiet one. <laughs> Very true, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. He's going to yell at your ass. <laughs> if you could dunk, what kind of dunk would you do? Do the legs, um, windmill. You're the same height as me, so how can I not dunk? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I get those I ankle dunk. weights. Those dunk. ankle weights. <laughs> so you need to teach me them skills. So what, dunk. what dunk would you do? <laughs> what dunk would you do? I know you did the basic boom, but if you could do three sixty, your favorite three sixty. Either tomahawk or three sixty. Hell yeah! Any any dunk's hard, yeah. yo. I wanna do. Um, <laughs> you did the Vin Diesel dunk. Derek Rose. The, <laughs> the Vince Carter. What is it like? Cradle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Vince Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vince Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vince Carter. Vince Carter. What is it like? Cradle. <laughs> he said cradle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna do the Drex? Drex, the Drex was there. <laughs> oh, that yeah, weird dunk. Yeah. He'd be doing a weird ass dunk in 2K. Like, that one rocked the world for sure. So the NBA went to G League and they were like, all right, who can jump? They went to all the African Americans expecting, you know, assuming, <laughs> yo, all right, we need one of these. And then they just see a white boy, bang, bang, like, what the hell is this? White man can't jump? They're what? Like, <laughs> they like, like, defying <laughs> gravity that night, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And I believe for the first time in this competition, it wasn't you game. had one player, like, actually make it on his first attempt. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, throughout these contests, they always have to do it, like, multiple times. So it's like the first time, it's like, oh, he almost had it. Yeah. Second time, it's just like, oh, third time. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, he finally does it after the eighth time, and it's like, you don't even mm-hmm. deserve the 50. <laughs> it's like 40, By the time you get to the eight minutes, 39, like eight, eight you know what I'm saying? Twice. So, Mac McClung, he was, I believe he was like the first uh, participant to, to do all the dunks without a without a miss. Oh, shit. Throughout the whole event? Throughout, throughout the whole thing, I believe, yeah. Wow. One, okay, okay. one attempt. Damn. So, he literally just did four dunks the whole night. I believe so. <laughs> four dunks. And and it was a wrap from there. That day. And you know what I hate about this competition is when... They uh they announce who's participating and then they interview the guys what they expect to do and stuff. They Wait. always say like, oh, I got this dunk that's no one ever seen before. Then the night of they do the simple shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's like yo, we seen that last year, the year before. <laughs> Never seen before. Yo, what the hell? We seen that in pre-game warm up. It's like <laughs> I hear it all the time. It's like just go out and do it because uh, you're not impressing anyone. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. But I guess that that was a win for dunk contest, right? They got a lot of publicity. Yeah, that, some people were guy. saying that he definitely uh, put it back on the map, and hopefully, people can step up next year. You know, Zion Williamson's one guy that said that he he might do it. You have so, talent yeah. that people don't even use. You got KD, you got Giannis, you got LeBron, you got Steph. LeBron's a LeBron. Yeah, Three yeah, point yeah. competition: Steph Curry, yeah. with, uh, Dame. That would have been nice and interesting. But Who do you want in the dunk contest? Definitely LeBron, LeBron. Giannis, K, uh, Kevin Durant. Um, what else? John Morant. Damn, all those there. guys. <laughs> Only one of those guys would definitely be good in the competition. Like, crazy. Yeah. Dur- Durant's more of a shooter. LeBron's too old. Like He had his chance. He should have done that yeah. shit a long time. John Morant, Morant. John Morant for sure, because like he got springs um, for days. Yeah. Zion Williamson should be in that. Uh, Yo, what oh. happened to him? He's, he's like a buzz. He was number one pick. And no, like he was he actually... broke the shoe and that's it. That's all I ever heard of him. He was he actually was playing fat. pretty well. <laughs> he was too fat. No, <laughs> no, no, but like he, he slimmed down a bit and yeah. like he was actually playing very well and he was actually voted as a starter for the All-Star game. This, this year? This season. And at one point during the season, the Pelicans were the one seed. Ah. And then he got injured, and then they started plummeting down in the ah, standings. Wow, wow. So, like, he actually was playing well until he got hurt again. Okay. I don't know if it has to do anything with the weight, but... That was Andrew Wiggins. Do I know what it was? I think it's <laughs> Andrew Sports. Wiggins. Is Greg Oden. I don't know. Greg Oden? Biggest yeah, bust? The first round bust. Biggest... Yeah, because he, he was first pick, too. <laughs> out of Portland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there's been a few. Right yeah, there. One Brandon one Roy and... and uh, Jimmy Butler. Dame. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, no, there's been a few big busts, like, um, homeboy from Orlando, went to 
messed up shot. Like he got. Oh, uh, like, Markel. Yeah. Markel Fultz. Yeah, Fultz. Lonzo Ball yeah. too. Lonzo yeah. Ball. Yeah, fixed that. <laughs> yeah, Lonzo Ball. He's out for the season. He hasn't played at all this season. Yeah. Uh, the doctors are saying that like his knee injury is something they've never seen before. <coughs> oh shit! Not even. That is very bro. unique, and they have like no idea what's going on, which is very interesting because I feel like in the NBA. Like, sports in general, I feel like the major, like, injury is always to the knee. Yeah. You know, like, ACLs. It's all the pressure. You're always jumping. (laughs) These are your training wheels right here. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when when I heard that, I'm like, I feel bad for him because I felt like he finally found a home in Chicago. Good team, but I don't don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Bulls fan, bro. How you feel? Speak for yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were winning a lot, you know. In the 90s. Good ball just. <laughs> <laughs> no, when lots of balls in there, there's yeah. better rotation, better. Yeah. Because you got DeMar DeRozan, you got Zach Levine, you know. The ball, too many weapons on that team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, that's the dunk contest. No. The Saturday night. Yeah, that caps off Saturday night. It was. It that, was all right. That was the win so far. Yeah, yeah, Mac McClung, he did yeah. his thing. You yeah, know. We, we we learned that white men can jump. <laughs> you know, they can that's it. They put their minds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And look yeah out they're getting the, paid. <laughs> you know. <laughs> look out for the reboot coming out. I think in April or May with Jack Harlow. What do you mean reboot? Yeah, they they what? they made a remake of White Men Can Jump. Nah, <laughs> it's with Jack Harlow. Tropic, Tropic, you know, with uh, Will Smith, Will uh, Ferrell. Oh, really? oh, yeah. No, yeah, that's yeah. a different movie. That's, that's a different yeah, movie, yeah. though. Yeah, no, yeah, but. White yeah. Man's Face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> and I forget the guy's name in real life, but the guy from uh, Power who plays um Sean, uh, Kanan's son, he, he's oh, okay. the guy that's playing opposite of Jack Carlo. Oh, wow. And, and he's White the, he's the Wesley Snipes. Yeah, he's the Wesley Snipes, yeah. <laughs> and I believe yeah. it's going to be on Hulu. Wow. And it's in a couple months. Yeah, Man, yo, they better not fumble, because that's a classic. Wesley Snipes. Uh, honest, actually, I've never watched that movie. For real? It's yeah, I, 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 I've uh, never watched the original, sport. so I'm going to have to watch <laughs> that and see how it is. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not for sure, for sure. It sounds, it sounds cool, Jack Harlow. Yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of movies and shows I haven't watched, but I'll yeah. definitely get to that one. So Sunday night is the the prime. Sunday night is the main event. The you main got event, NBA yes. All Star game. Back in the day, it was East versus West. Now you got mm. captains. You got Team LeBron. You got Team Giannis. <laughs> you got Christian. <laughs> last <Bud>. year, <laughs> last year it was Team LeBron, Team Durant. But Giannis had more votes this year, so it was Giannis, LeBron, and for the first time, they actually aired. Uh, the pickup teams, like they were actually drafting their players for yeah, each team yeah. on on live. So you had yeah. LeBron pick his people. You had Giannis pick his people. Uh, Jalen Brown, I think he was picked second mm. by by LeBron, and I believe Tatum was uh, picked first for Giannis for like his starters because they started picking the reserves first. Yeah, and then they picked the starters. You wonder yeah. why they do that? Because the reserves get picked like ninth. 700. Yeah, they, they so wanted they the reserves to go. Exactly. They wanted yeah, yeah, yeah. to make special. You know, give give, give them league. some type of recognition to yeah. to go first. Yeah. You know, well, th- this is this is like the only type type of thing where you, fans are included. Like, you can vote. Your your vote matters. Yeah, so like, how the, the voting system <clears throat> works, I believe fans have like 25% say. Yeah, yeah. So. And then it's like the coaches that have like the majority. Yeah, Because like, yeah, yeah. like when you look at the, the fan voting, because like they do fan voting and then they show you like three different like brackets of results of like the fan votes. But you have fans voting for like people yeah. who don't even yeah. play. <laughs> for like not even like all stars. Yeah. It's like what the fuck's going the, on? You the player's not... injured. Like yeah. why are you voting for this person that injured? Derrick Rose is like. I right, saw so, no offense, but Derrick Rose hasn't even really played. Like he was like in the top ten. You had um who was that guy? Um, you had the guy in the dunk contest four games in the NBA. The dude that fucking <laughs> uh was beefing with KG way back in the day yeah. in, in the Hawks. Uh, and then he messed up Kawhi oh, Leonard. Al, he Al, he Al, had his Al, foot Al. out and he stepped on his foot. Oh, Pachulia. 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 Yeah, Pachulia. Yeah. Zaza. Zaza. Zaza, <laughs> Zaza, Zaza Pachulia. Pachulia. They, he was almost voted as a starter. Because this of year? Fu- no, like a few uh, years ago. Because of fucking fans. They don't know how to vote. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that just shows you like how many people are out there that are fans of basketball. So that got me thinking oh, poor of basketball. <coughs> that just got me thinking of the girl fans of basketball. Some some girls that have Brittany. wrong in, in, intentions. <laughs> Brittany, <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner, yo. Hey, she got first name. She got drafted by Pumano. <laughs> she got drafted. Brittany Griner. Yo, she gave her eight year contract. <laughs> so like she's considered to trap. Like she trapped a player. Brittany Ryder? Yeah, she just signed the one-year deal with her, her former Oh, team. no, no, Brittany Ryder. I'm thinking Renner. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, that's that. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's Brittany Ryder is the dude. The girl that got the dude. The <laughs> <laughs> Brittany Ryder is the dude. I'm talking about the, the, the girl. I know is the girl. The IG. The, 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 the Brittany Ryder. Yeah, Brittany Ryder. She got pregnant by the basketball player. Yeah, uh, PJ Washington from the Hornets. So they 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 said that... She trapped him, right? Yeah, because she made a video like way before she even oh knew God. who this dude was. She was telling the ladies like, "Oh, um, NBA players are stupid. You can trap them." Like, <laughs> Yo, that's nuts. Yeah, <laughs> that's nuts. She really <laughs> came out and said that. <laughs> wow. And that's exactly what she did. She got fresh meat. Like this dude had to be like in his rookie or his sophomore season. Bro, so I just started making money and she just yeah, took out all and there was like a seven, eight year difference too. And Shit, I, if I was in his position, I'm like, yo, fuck it. <laughs> I, I, I was in his position. I'd be worried about six condoms. Nah, yeah. but that's the thing. I think I heard that she took a, a used condom and took the cum from the used condom. Oh, you heard yeah. that? I swear Crazy. I saw a blog say that or some oh, shit. My, I gotta look that shit up because like, like I thought him being so young, bro. Like she she went the whole way. Like she's like I'm I'm trapping yeah. this nigga. Either he's great, coming dude. at me. He, or I'm taking that. He was probably <laughs> following her on Instagram. Yeah, he was yeah. probably like in college. Look at her. I'm like, yo, yeah, I yeah. wish I was with you. <laughs> oh shit, she's right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Grimy or are they smart? Like, if you could trap a player, would you? <laughs> let us know in the comment section down below. <laughs> would you trap a player? Yo, yes or yo, no? And let us so know what you think. Now I gotta think about it. The girls got that, right? They grab the cum from the condom. Our our way is we poke holes in the condom. Yeah. And when we're gonna fuck the WNBA, I'm talking about WNBA, not oh. NBA players. Yo, there's WNBA players too. Yo, you know? we, we, we love and respect <laughs> Yeah, right? Shout out to Britney. <laughs> yo, yo, you gotta poke holes in that condom, you know? When it's, <laughs> when it's like a, a girl that makes more money than you, you gotta yeah, poke we holes gotta chop the anime player. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, closest, the, closest, the closest team is in Connecticut, yo. So we gotta go. Yeah. The weakest son, Connecticut son, be like, hey, I've been watching you since. I've been watching you all the day. Right oh, you're such a good ball player. Uh, so Do you want a man? Do you want a man? Fancy <laughs> restaurants with the fancy rentals, and we'll make it in. <laughs> nah, yeah, because the All-Star game is, what, 24 players in total? Yeah, 24 of the quote-unquote best players in the world. Yeah, Some so, people get snubbed, but it's another topic. So you know those girls are out there, they're scouting. <laughs> but I feel like this year, <laughs> this year, since it was in Salt Lake City, Utah, there really wasn't many like celebrities out there. Mm, like you seen like a few of them, but like they they decided to just stay home and be like fuck something. Where, where? You know we ain't trying to eat pizza out there. <laughs> and sick like MJ. You know so. Uh, shit. You got a bunch of scouts out there. You got the girls trying to find that five star uh, recruitment. <laughs> Not even you know the scouts from the NBA. You got yeah, the exactly, bro. Yeah, this first, scouting. first round. Okay, I'm having two kids. Oh right. yeah. <laughs> Second round. Because you know the players are, 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 are partying out there. Yeah. They go to oh, yeah, bars and stuff, yes. you know? Of course. Yo, look yeah. at the Phoenix Suns. You got, what, that, what's that girl's name that went to seven Phoenix Suns? <laughs> Yo. Uh, what's her name? Kendall Jenner? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. There's a girl. About. There's, there's a, a girl that, that supposedly, got like, trained. before, she got before they went to the bubble, and, like, the Suns, because they have to play eight games before the playoffs, oh, and sick. the Suns won all eight games, <laughs> but they didn't make the playoffs. <laughs> but like this girl was like out on a podcast and she said that like she 
she pretty much messed with like the majority of the sons. Yeah, she said wow. she had a, she got trained by about seven of them. Devin yeah. Booker was there. She said, um, I don't think Chris Paul was there. <laughs> <laughs> the I mean, Kanye had something to say about him, so like that's a different. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, Kanye, Kanye just speaks his mind. Back in the George Bush era. <laughs> On live TV. <laughs> yeah, man. Now, nah, talking about old eras, the first ever All-Star was 1951. They used to have mailmans, plumbers play in the NBA. You know? <laughs> that. A, lot of, a lot of pipes were getting cleaned. <laughs> All they were wearing was uh, Chuck Lowe's. They had the short shorts. They had the Converse. They had the short shorts with the Converse. And then they yeah. got the Larry Birds out there. They had yeah. the side bag all the dunk. Yeah, shit. bro. They said, who like Jordan shit. who? <laughs> there was still racism back then. It was in Boston Garden, too. The first All-Star oh, game? Yeah, the first oh. All-Star game was in wow, Boston Garden. I didn't know that. And yeah. like for the longest time, I yep. was always like, I was always wondering why the All Star Game hasn't been in Boston in like yeah. so long, and I'm thinking maybe because of the traffic. Yeah. But like the traffic in Boston is just brutal, so nah, they just want to go out there. They ran out of mailman. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I did hear that they're submitting a bid to host it in a few years. Nice. They're aiming for 2026, I think. Okay, okay. So, so isn't that lifetime? Yeah. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so this All Star Game. It was basically Boston highlighted because both players, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Mm -hmm. Jason Tatum was a starter. Jalen yeah. Brown was a reserve, but both players scored the most for each team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had Jalen Brown back drop 35, and Tatum was the MVP of the game. He dropped 55, which is an all-star game record. With his new shoes. With his new signature shoes. What do you think about those shoes? You seen them up close? Yeah, bro. They're hideous. Nah, <laughs> the John nah, Morant's are mad basic, man. Yeah. Those, those are those are whatever. Look at look at the first model of Kyrie ones, and oh, yeah. you can Kyrie, see I like the Kyrie, the yeah. similarity. Ah, uh, he was influenced. But Tatum, yeah. Tatum's Jordan brand. Yeah. And next month he has a few different colorways of the shoe, and they actually look nice. Nice, nice. And he's on the Jordan brand, so does it have the Jordan logo? Yeah, it has the Jordan logo right on the side of the shoe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. so I'm looking forward to seeing those. So, you yeah, know, he won MVP. Well deserved. He scored how many points? He scored 55, and here's a stat. So, the last. Most, most points. The most points, yeah. yeah. Most points in All Star game. Okay. The last two All Star game MVPs was Giannis in 21 and then Steph Curry in 2022. Wow. Each player, each team ended up winning the chip. Hey. That season. So can Tatum do the same thing with Yo. the Celtics this year and win Banner 18? Yo, superstitions, come on. We got this Banner Thanos rings. Come. We got the Thanos mm, rings. Yes. Come on, Tatum and Brown. Chicago. Let's go. Number one seed in the Yo. whole league. Number one seed. We're like barely holding on because mm. it's like all the teams are slowly catching up. Like Milwaukee, they just won 13 in a row. Yeah. Giannis isn't even playing because yeah. he's dealing with the wrist. So he's right there. The fucking Nuggets are right yeah. up there too. So it's like, it's come playoff time. Like playoff times is like, it's different every year. It's yeah. so tough. That's why I was so mad that they lost last year because it's like, look at what they had to go through yeah. to get there and fall short. Now they're going to have to start from the beginning and climb up again. I do have faith in them, but this is going to be another tough battle. Yeah, but I think sure. I think they can do it. But they have to they have to be mentally tough and they got to be they got to be healthy. Yeah, Cuz the one sure. thing, the two things that you need when it comes to playoffs yeah. is that you you have to be healthy 1 through 8, 1 through 9 how many players you're playing and and def actually three things, three things. So you need health, 3, 4, 5, defense and you need depth. Yeah, you need so. that solid bench, and I feel like the Celtics, they check all three. You also yeah. need your reserves, too, so you have a fresh starter. That's what I mean by yeah, depth. Like you know, like, there. you got That's your six-man. That's three, man. four, and now it's five. <laughs> <laughs> There's no six-man here. More. There's no Jamal Crawford. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm, re I'm really, I'm really hoping green. the Celtics will pull it off this year. So, yeah, looking forward tough. to that. Yes, sir. But how did you guys feel about being on the episode? It's fucking lit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the birthday boy is lit over here. I was sitting in a cloud for a while. <laughs> right, that second hand contact. Huh? No coach. The coach? White guy? Brad, Brad 
Matt Stevens. Matt Stevens missing? Nah. Like, he's a GM, so he's still. He's doing office. better up there. Yeah. And he made is on his way to Hotlanta. <laughs> really? Yeah, Magic City. Wow. Nah, they were thinking about it, but like, nah, we don't want you. <laughs> and then we have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So another one. We already know John. Roberto. Oh yeah. Josh. John. Yes. <laughs> so like, share, comment. Subscribe. Yes. Share. It's all down below. <laughs> comment we on the bottom. Love and support. <laughs> comment on the Until bottom. Until next time. Like